Today we're going to be checking out a new song from the Devil Wears Prada. Now you guys know, Prada is one of my favorite bands that we check out here on the channel. They are just so creative and so interesting, and their album, Color Decay, was one of my albums of the year last year. And now they've got a deluxe version coming out with lots of extra tracks. And today we're checking out one of those extra tracks, it's called Ignorance. And I'm really interested to see what's up with this one, because the last one, Reaching, was a very, very weird track for Prada. It, it had this kind of like royal blood, alternative rock kind of feel to it, but with Prada's iconic vocals, you know, Mike's iconic harsh vocals on there, uh, and just kind of this like metalcore sensibility in terms of like breakdowns and stuff, but it very much felt alternative rock. And it was definitely an interesting sound, one that I honestly wasn't expecting. So I'm really interested to hear how this track sounds, if it sounds more like the rest of Color Decay, or if it sounds more like Reaching. Uh, I really don't know what to expect. These guys are so creative and are always, you know, switching it up. So let's just dive right in and see what they're up to. Help me, I need to get past this. I crave it, no sense. Ooh, okay. Interesting start. Seems like a more Jeremy focused track. Adding some screams in there. All right, that was The Devil Wears Prada with their unreleased track, Ignorance. Let's break it down. You know, I can kind of see why this track and Reaching weren't included on Color Decay. I don't know if they would have totally fit in with that album. They definitely lean very, very hard in the kind of alternative rock direction. Whereas I feel like Color Decay was still kind of definitely leaning towards 
the post-hardcore and metalcore kind of sound. This track is very, very poppy, especially for prog. There's just a lot of elements in here that you just would not expect to hear from a band that, you know, used to be incredibly, incredibly heavy back in the day. There's like all this like vocal chopping kind of stuff that's very popular in, uh, in pop music these days. With these like happy little bouncy synths. There's a guitar solo. And don't get me wrong, I actually really like this track. I just, it's strange coming from, from the Devil Wears Prada. This wasn't a track where we got, you know, crazy riffs or lots of breakdowns or lots and lots of mics vocals even. Definitely a Jeremy kind of focused track. And you know, I, I definitely love Jeremy's voice. He's sounding the best he's ever sounded in my opinion. It's really, really interesting. I, I'm just kind of perplexed um, as to like, you know, th this sound coming from this band. Um, I don't know if I would prefer this as like, the new sound going forward. But as an experiment included in, you know, the bonus tracks of a deluxe version of the album, sure, why not? Why not try to make a song that sounds like it could fit in on like regular alternative radio? If it weren't for Mike's screams in this, like this could be a mainstream rock song. And like, it would be killer, people would love it. And I love that kind of music too, you know, during the, the 2010s when I wasn't listening to, you know, core or scene music at all, this is the kind of stuff I was listening to, you know, lots of alternative rock, you know, the Killers, the, like the White Stripes, the Black Keys, um, Royal Blood, bands like that. So this song really speaks to me personally because I really like that sound. Um, like I said, I'm just a little perplexed as it's coming from Prada, you know. But overall, I like this song. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good one for sure. I just don't know if I necessarily would like this to be, you know, the permanent direction of the Devil Wears Prada. I don't think it is. They, they definitely like to play around with the heavy stuff still. It's just that they're maturing and evolving and they like to experiment with, with all kinds of different music and that they should, as they should. You know, they're artists and they should make the kind of art that they want to make. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of this one in the comments down below. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different opinions about this track, but um, I'd love to hear your thoughts nonetheless. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. It really, really helps out the channel. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you in the next one.